If you've been following me on Instagram and Facebook, you will have seen a lot of the different posts I have made regarding the Air X. I have been testing out this machine now for a little while. Hey, I'm Melissa Muir, and in this video, I've partnered with Guesswine to bring you my review of the AirDuex machine. The AirDuex machine is kind of special. It is made by Smart Pro, and it features not only engraving, but also a micro motor. So let's jump in and see if this is a system that you might find useful in your studio. The Smart Pro AirDuex system combines both the micro motor and a pneumatic engraver. The thing that's kind of cool about this is that the compressor is on the inside. So I do not need an external air compressor. That makes this thing very cool. Try it. Also, this is it. Look at how big this is. It's tiny. So it is about five and a half inches wide, about nine inches long, and I think seven and a half or so inches tall. So again, very, very small, super portable. It's not heavy at all. I take this back and forth between a couple of my studios. The micro motor features a brush type motor hand piece. This is going to top out at about 35,000 RPM, more than plenty for what I do as a jeweler. Most of my accessories will only go up to about 20,000 on the maximum end. So this has really, really been helpful for polishing and for drilling. Now I do find that when I'm drilling sometimes, especially if I'm doing larger items or if I am trying to work in something a little heavier, that sometimes the torque is a little less than desired, but it still has been able to do all of the tasks that I have asked of it. The micro motor comes with a plastic cradle, so you should make sure you store that in there. This is a quick change, which means there's a 332nd inch collet installed. To open this, all I have to do is turn the top part, pull out my mandrel or my accessory, and then put a new one in. It's always important that whenever you have a quick change handpiece, that you always store some kind of a mandrel or accessory inside of this. It will come with a blank mandrel, just make certain that you've always got something in there when not in use. Similar to other engraving machines, there are two hand pieces available. You're gonna to need to check with whoever you purchase your machine from to find out which one the machine will come with. So we have a lighter weight hand piece that is going to be really good for shading. I also really like this one for doing bright cutting around my stones. So we also have a little larger hand piece. This one is going to have a heavier stroke. This is going to allow me to get much deeper engravings in my pieces. I also really like this one for hammering my heavier bezels. Just like my other engraving units, I like to have multiple hand pieces because they can each do different jobs better. In addition to a hand piece, it also comes with six gravers that have already been pre-shaped. Now that does not necessarily mean that they have been sharpened properly, so you will still need to do that. And I found that the shapes they included were really better suited for stone setting, not necessarily some of the general and decorative engraving that I do. And I have put some of these to really good use, such as my bright cutting and prepping things for bead setting. In addition, it also includes the foot pedal as well as your power cords and cables. To go along with our gravers, it also includes six quick change collets. This is going to allow you to install different gravers into the different collets, and then you can easily pop one in and out as you need different accessories. On the back of our machine, it is labeled quite clearly. So we have for our power source as well as our foot pedal. Foot pedal end is going to have a small notch. You're just going to insert that into place and then tighten up this little collet here on the threads. Our power cord is very similar. Again, we have a notch that will line up in the machine and we will tighten up the collet here and we are ready to go. To turn on the power of our machine, there is a small power button here at the bottom, and then notice our large digital display. It's going to tell us a couple of things. First of all, which accessory are we using and how are we using it? Then I also have the option here to switch between the engraver as well as the micro motor. I have a forward and reverse, and then the ports for either putting in my engraving handpiece or my micro motor handpiece. 
As I switch between the micromotor and the engraving, you'll notice that our options change up here and I can increase the speed for whichever item I'm using. To operate our machine, let's talk about our micromotor first. So I'm gonna switch this back over to the micromotor option. Then, of course, I need to plug in the micromotor. So just line that up with the little notch in there, plug that in, and it is ready to go. So I have the option of running this by hand or by foot control. My foot control is going to be this pedal. But if I wanna run it by hand, what I do is I take this knob here all the way and I'm gonna rotate it up to the top and that is going to take off that foot control marker. And now I can switch it over and it's ready to start this with my speed. And you can hear the speed on my micromotor. And this is a very, very soft, very fluid feel. So now I've switched that back over to the foot control. And now again, I can change my speed. Nothing happens with my micromotor until I actuate it with the foot pedal. When it comes to my hand pieces, both are very similar. We have a very soft and supple air cord here, so it's rubber, and it makes it really nice. It's very, very flexible. I don't have any tension or weight that comes on this, so it doesn't affect any of my engraving that way. To plug this in, I'm just going to take the end of the hose and put it into this port, and we're gonna switch to our engraving. Once again, I can change the speed of this as well as taking this to that hand control. So when I do that, I'm going to switch this back over. Notice that my little foot pedal went off. And now when I change the speed, you'll hear this start to knock. Okay. And that will allow me to control the speed here by hand. And notice I can go pretty slow to very, very quickly. I'm going to switch this back over to the foot pedal. And now I am going to set my speed. And once again, I can control that now with the foot pedal. To insert one of the quick change collets, all I need to do is line up the notch and insert that. And that helps to secure it, makes it so it doesn't rotate around and I'm ready to go. All right, so that's the machine. As you can see, it's quite well thought out as far as the capabilities of this. Now the micromotor is gonna go up to 35,000 RPM. The hand pieces for the engraving are gonna go from 240 to 8,000 strokes per minute. So it's quite quick, but it's still not quite the same speed as what some other engraving units have. Now when I very first was introduced to this machine I was very excited about it and then I sat down to use it and I was a little disappointed now you've got to remember for me I am used to using a GRS system I've also used and set as well as the Lindsay system and those three work fairly similarly but just like each of those and they have their different nuances this one also has some different nuances the slower speed combined with the power of these strokes means that there's a little bit more of a learning curve especially if you're using that larger handpiece that now comes with the machine. At first, I found that I had a bit of a difficult time trying to control it, and I would skitter past where I was trying to go, or I would dig too deep, but just like learning any of the other machines, you really have to spend some time with it. And once you do, you'll find how it works and how to control that. And in the end, I was able to get just as good of results on this machine as I was others. Where this machine really shines, is stone setting. I was able to do a lot of stone setting techniques with this. Everything from flush setting, bead setting, to heavy bezel setting as well. And one of my favorite things to do, especially with that lighter handpiece, which is why I would want both of them, is when I did a bright cut around my stones. I found that I had beautiful control as I took that graver around my stones. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do I think of this machine? I like it. At first, I didn't like it, but I'll tell you, after spending some time with it and really learning how to control it, I found that I was able to do all of the things that I needed to do. I was still able to do my decorative engraving. I did a lot with stone setting, and I think it really shines in that area, like I said. I also really liked the fact that it had the built-in micromotor. I like the fact that this is small. It's portable. I can take it between studios very, very easily. And I only need one piece of equipment to do two jobs. 
jobs, both that micromotor drilling and polishing, as well as then my engraving and stone setting. At the time of this video, these machines run at about $1,100. So for the cost, it is fantastic, especially for those of you who think that maybe you would like to try to do some engraving. Having that pneumatic pressure behind that graver really helps and makes a difference. At least it does for me. Now, if you think that this is going to be the same type of machine as you get with some of the more expensive systems, don't because it is definitely not, all right? There is definitely more of a learning curve to this machine versus some of the others. But again, I think that the benefits of this machine kind of outweigh that. And this is a great starting point for people who are just wanting to get into this. I will include the links for the machine as well as a coupon code down in the description of the video. So be sure you check that out. Have you tried this machine? I'd be interested to hear what you have to say as well. As always, if you guys are liking these videos, be sure you give me a thumbs thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell, and mark that you want all notifications so you don't miss any more of the reviews coming up.